From Delaware's most award-winning radio news team, this is WDEL Video News. Here's Chris Carl. Among Delaware's top stories for Wednesday, August 8th, Dell Dot continues bridge inspections in the wake of the Minnesota collapse. Hate-filled graffiti is cleaned up downstate. Residents spend a night out with police. Here are the details. Dell Dot responds to a request from the Federal Department of Transportation to conduct a bridge inspection. WDEL's Carl Konefsky reports. Del Dot work crews began taking a close look at the Augustine Cutoff Bridge Tuesday morning. It was built in 1920 and had a major renovation in 1980, but the feds had a specific reason for asking Del Dot to take a look. This is the only steel deck truss bridge we have in Delaware, uh, and the steel deck truss bridge is the kind of bridge uh, design that collapsed in Minnesota. It is structurally very sound. Uh, it is not on our structurally deficient list. Daryl Cole, Del Dot's public relations director, says that list has just 38 bridges on it, a number representing less than 3% of the state's bridges, with structurally deficient, meaning the span has a component that needs attention, not that the bridges are unsafe. Cole says the inspection covers all parts of the bridge. We look at every aspect, from undercarriage to the steel beams to the trusses themselves that are interlocking pieces of steel um, to the to the pavement, to the sidewalk. The bridge's last inspection was in May of last year. Reporting from Wilmington, I'm Carl Konefsky, 1150 AM, WDEL. Where should students in the Christina District go to school? WDEL's John Collins has that story. Christina School District is revealing details of its upcoming neighborhood schools plan. Members of the public were invited to weekly workshops in July to help draft the neighborhood schools plan. District Superintendent Dr. Lillian Lowry says the plan is a step in the right direction for the district because it balances well the needs of urban and suburban students and parents. Highlights of the plan include implementing full fifth grade in all suburban elementary schools and adding a sixth grade to existing middle schools Gauger, Kirk and Shu. The Porter Road Elementary School project on Route 40 will also be done and it will add 800 more K-5 through seats for the Bear Area. A final round of public meetings will be held in August to fine-tune the plan before it's presented to the district board in September. The neighborhood school's plan, if approved by the state, would go into effect in September 2008. Reporting from the Sarah Pyle Academy in Wilmington, John Collins, 1150 AM, WDEL. The State Human Relations Commission wants you to remember that hate exists in Delaware, but it can't be tolerated. Commission Chairman Calvin Christopher says his group learned about an act of hate through a first-hand experience. One of our commissioners was on a fishing trip down in the uh, Bowers Beach area. And as she was traveling down there, she just happened to stumble across some graffiti that was very graphic and, and very blatant and discriminatory toward African Americans. Christopher says when the woman went back to see if the graffiti was there a few days later, the driver of an SUV tried to run her off the road. Del Dot crews have painted over the graffiti. State police say 95 hate crimes were reported last year, but say many more go unreported. Efforts to bring wind power to Delaware are moving forward. WDEL News continues in a moment. Looking to gain an edge in the technology or design field? Wilmington College's Division of Information Technology and Advanced Communications offers state-of-the-art facilities equipped with the latest tools. Achieve balance, achieve success. County police are looking for two suspects in connection with a home invasion and shooting in the Pike Creek area that left a man critically wounded. Police say the suspects hid in the bushes near the victim's house on Linden Knoll. And when he returned home around 6 p.m., they forced him inside, took something from his house, and shot the victim once in the upper body. He was flown to Christingout Hospital, where he's in critical but stable condition. Anyone with information is asked to contact county police. State police are hoping you can help them identify a bank robber. This man got away with cash from the Wilmington Trust Branch in the Community Plaza Shopping Center in Newcastle last Thursday. Anyone with information about the man is asked to contact state police or Crime Stoppers at 1-800-TIP-3333. State officials have given Delmarva Power a mid-September deadline to reach a power supply agreement with a company seeking to build the nation's first offshore wind farm. Delmarva also has until September 14th to sketch out terms with Connective Energy and NRG Energy for a backup natural gas facility to provide power to southern Delaware when the wind doesn't blow. In May, the Public Service Commission and other state officials directed Delmarva to negotiate a power purchase agreement with Blue Water Wind, a company that plans to build a wind farm off the Sussex County coast. The 60-day deadline for negotiations expired last month, but state officials agreed to give an extension given the complexity of the project 
and the stakes involved in what could be a multi-billion dollar energy supply program lasting for two decades or longer. A local man and former Olympian is hoping to corner the market for military gloves, WDEL's Lee St. John reports. You'd think a guy who competed in three Olympics in the sport of luge would know a thing or two about gloves. Frank Maisley is that guy, but the gloves his company makes aren't part of any athletic competition. They're part of a more serious game, fighting the war in Iraq. From a two-room manufacturing facility near the end of Germay Drive, just outside Wilmington, Maisley's small team designs and assembles a whole line of gloves, or as he likes to put it, technical handwear solutions for a number of military applications. The main important glove that we've been making is the fuel handler glove. Uh, we've learned that of course, our glove is a complete barrier to JPA fuel. We've learned that the JPA fuel causes harmful effects to the skin. It works great in the vehicles, protects them from exploding, and keeps them running. However, when you get that fuel on your hands, it stays on your skin and causes a lot of uh, skin irritation and dermal problems. Another of Maisley's designs is awaiting testing by the armed forces, which could lead to another manufacturing contract, something that wasn't lost on Congressman Mike Castle, who stopped by with other state and local officials for a tour and to put Maisley's products to the test. Uh, I'm totally aware of the fact that dealing with the government in general in terms of acquisition and dealing with the military in particular can be very complex and difficult. It's where we have to help uh, when you have the best product uh, we need to make sure that's what gets in the hands of uh, those brave men and women who are out there trying to do a job as far as the United States is concerned. That's what we have here. Uh, that's why it's, it's so vitally important uh, that we be as supportive as we possibly can. So while wading through that red tape, Maisley is marketing directly to the units, hoping O.D. Green will be his ticket to gold. Reporting from Germay Industrial Park outside Wilmington, Lee St. John, 1150 a.m., WDEL. How can you make your community safe? WDEL's Erica Guadetti reports police want to help. The Newcastle County Police Department held the National Night Out for members of the community. The event featured food, treats for kids, a police canine show, along with raising community awareness of crime. Event coordinator Corporal Amy Kivas hopes residents will learn from this event. Hopefully they'll learn that um, we're out here, we're the community police department, we're out here to interact with the communities, we're out here to work with the communities to try to get a better understanding of what happens in the communities when the police are not there. Um, we want the people inside their neighborhoods to be our eyes and ears when we're not able to do that. And that, that's the partnership we're hoping to establish with all the communities. Reporting from Woods Haven Cruise Park, I'm Erica Gudetti, 1150 AM, WDEL. One of the greatest records in sports is broken. WDEL Sports and your Delaware AccuWeather forecast coming up. I'm Peter MacArthur. I'm Melanie Armstrong, and here are Delaware's top stories at the top of the hour. The most complete coverage of the news that matters in Delaware, every weekday morning, 5.30 till 9, on 1150 AM WDEL. In WDEL Sports, Barry Bonds had a 435-foot blast to right center field off Washington's Mark Basic to become Major League Baseball's all-time home run king. The home run was the 756th of Bonds' controversial career, breaking Hank Aaron's record. Ryan Howard hit a pair of home runs to lead the Phillies to an 11-1 route to the Florida Marlins. Howard hit home runs 31 and 32 in the season, and Aaron Rowan added his 17th of the year to help the Phillies move to within four games of the NL East leading Mets. Jamie Moyer gave up just one run in six innings of work. The only run came on Hanley Ramirez's home run on the first pitch of the game. Moyer raises his record to 10-8. and eight. Tonight, Kyle Loesch goes for the Phillies against Dontrell Willis with the action on WDEL covered starting at 6.30. And Brian McFall and Mary Olissen both homered as the Blue Rocks knocked off the Winston-Salem Warthogs for the second straight night, 6-2. The Rocks pounded out 13 hits with every starter getting at least one hit. McFall, who was named the Carolina League Player of the Month earlier in the day, had two RBIs to give him a club-best 56 on the season. Game three of that series is tonight at Frawley Stadium. Your WDEL Delaware Accu with a forecast. Partly sunny throughout today with hot and humid conditions, a high 95. Tonight, partly cloudy, low 76. For tomorrow, clouds and sun, maybe a shower or thunderstorm late, the high reaching 90. Get news updates throughout the day. Delaware's top stories at the top of the hour on 1150 AM WDEL or anytime right here at WDEL.com. I'm Chris Carl. Thanks for watching.